All right, for uh, for building our uh, custom CODIS linking script, um, I use Eclipse, and I already got started on this script here. I uh, I built the script pretty much, and I think this script should work. And I created a boolean here to make sure that this will only run once. And um, what we did with this here is we allowed when we apply the script to an object in Embrace and we open up the codex linker with shift C um, we'll be able to um, input the path name so we can use this for whatever we want this is now a generic script that can be modified with the uh, with the codex linker so now what I, what I do is um, I take this script here that should be in uh, in my workspace under tutorial bin and I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to copy it into the codex folder so now when you load up when you load up embrace oh, let me get that out of there Let me exit here first because I was doing something earlier and now I got to do it again and make sure everything refreshes. So you probably you probably don't want to put scripts in the codex folder while Embrace is on. It could cause it to uh, not refresh the scripts properly. So you're gonna have to load up Embrace um, after you put the uh, codex script in. So now what we do um, to create kind of a a script runner um, all we need to do is uh, make a template that is going to be a ghost template so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press N to go into things and templates and uh, I'm gonna type in ghost into the search press enter it takes us straight to the ghost and then I'm gonna apply this to the template I just made in the world here so now this is it this is essentially a non rendered object that you use mostly to apply scripts to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to override and I'm going to go pick script and I'm going to find the script I just made <clears throat> and it's uh, under M. And I'm going to talk about this script and how it works um, how, how you actually get this to uh, read as a codex linker script. So I'm going to apply this now and then I'm going to press shift C all right, so now let's let's take a look at the script here, and in conjunction with the codex linker and why this is this script is being interpreted as a codex linker script. So you notice that we now have an input value that we can put in here, and uh, I can actually input my map um, intro dot ncp. Oops, that's ncp. There we go. And I'm going to apply it to the to the object eventually. Um, so, how does this work? Well, this uh, this string input is actually looking for the constructor. This is actually created when you create a constructor in your JavaScript. And a constructor is uh, essentially a public name that matches the name of your your class. And the parameter that you put in that constructor is going to be a value that you can input in the codex linker. And the name under description, the description, is, uh, is an explicit uh, variable. Um, it has to be a public static string named underscore params and uh, no capital, no capital letters in there. So it's cap sensitive and it has to be called this explicitly and each uh, param name that you put in here has to match the order of which you created your parameters in your constructor and what I'm going to what I'm also going to do just to illustrate um, how you would add more values to this uh, particular script is uh, I'm going to cancel out of here and I'm going to show you how I can add another value into that codex linker I'm just going to 
Um, I'm going to just exit out of here. What I want to do for my next value is I want to actually control this value too. So I'm going to have this be um, speed. So I'm going to I'm going to make another variable, and it's. I'm thinking it should it, it would be a uh, it would be a uh, integer. So you could you'd create another another variable. Now we call it speed, and by default it'll equal 30. And then we're going to create a, another parameter, um, and this is going to be an integer. It has to match match up. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this equal the parameter input that a user would uh, input into the codex linker. And we're going to give it a name. Oops. So you create another parameter by separating it with a uh, separating it with a comma. So I'm going to put path speed in there. And um, actually, I think you can. I think it's separate. If you put that in there, it'll start it out with that value. I think it, either it's a colon or a semicolon. Colon or a semicolon. So that allows you to create default values for your uh, for your Codex Linker script. So when we save this. This should work. Let's take a look here. I'm going to take and make a copy of this, put it back into uh, the codex folder of the main Vampire Masquerade uh, directory, and load up Embrace again. Load up our map again. And then I'm going to press zero to get rid of that that grid and then I'm going to apply a template here put the ghost in there apply the ghost and I'll move this up a little bit so that it's it's in the scene override it with the script again let's go find our my map thing my map intro path apply this script and now when I press control C yes that's what we did we created another parameter here in the script and we added a default value notice that it didn't put the semicolon 30 in the description instead it set that as a default value <coughs> so that's that's how you would pretty much uh, create a custom codex linker script um, you, if you put a uh, like a, a codex object into your parameters, it'll create a linker, and um, I'll cover that later on. For now, we're just going to try to get our path running. So now that I've finished this script, I'm ready to get her done. <laughs> 